Boxing Lowdown and I'm back here with another video. Now as always people don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment if you like and I'll happily get back to you. Now here's a name that I didn't think I'll be mentioning for any time soon. Sergei Kovalev is making his return to the ring in May. He'll be on a thriller show. He'll be fighting uh, Kubrat Pulev's younger brother. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't think I'll be talking about Sergei Kovalev again. This guy has been on downward spiral the last few years. You talk about his last fight in the ring. He was brutally knocked out by Canelo Alvarez in 11 rounds. That was back in 2019. Uh, in 2020, he was uh, had them sexual assault allegations and he was convicted of those. Uh, the story is just wild about that woman and her dog. Um, I'm sure you guys are aware of that. Um, he was supposed to have another fight scheduled after that. Uh, you know, crazy, he was still allowed to fight despite all of this. And uh, he tested positive for a banned substance. So really after that, I just thought this is the end of Kovalev, man. We ain't gonna see no more of Sergei Kovalev. But here we are. It's like he hibernated for a little while. Nobody's really talking about, you know, what he's done. And uh, I haven't seen that much condemnation of him being back in the ring. But here we are. Do you know what I mean? It is on a thriller show. I don't take thriller too serious, guys. But um, at the end of the day, he is licensed to fight. So I don't know much about uh, Kubrat Pulev's younger brother. Uh, I'm expecting Kovalev to win this. I think that that is the that is the expectation amongst the boxing world that Kovalev will win this in his cruiserweight debut. Kovalev is stepping up from light heavyweight to cruiserweight to have this fight. So you know he's going to be a refreshed Kovalev, I suppose, at 38 years old, new weight division, new objectives. Uh, if he was to win this, I saw an interview with Kathy Duva, and she was saying that you know she wants Kovalev to go for the champions. So, you know, it's not looking like he's going anywhere soon, Sergei Kovalev, man. And like I said, I'm just quite surprised that we haven't heard or seen many people uh, condemn or, or, you know, you know how you see, not obviously with Jarrell Miller, like we know what he did, but with Kovalev, he tested positive for a banned substance. He's had issues outside of the ring, um, you know, brutally knocked out in his last in his fight against Canelo Alvarez. Um, I, I just thought I would have heard more personally, you know, about him, but maybe people are not too fussed anymore. I haven't really heard anything for or against Kovalev, so maybe people are just not really looking at it like that. But yeah, he will be on a thriller show, and um, if he was to win it, he'll be targeting the champions at Cruiserweight, of course. I mean, it is natural for them to say that, but maybe Eddie Hearn might look at somebody like Sergey Kovalev and say, yeah, you might be food for a Coley. Do you know what I mean? He's one of the champions at Cruiserweight. He's trying to get a fight. Would Kovalev really want to step in there with somebody like Akoli at this stage of his career? Um, listen, when, when Kovalev was in his prime, the guy was an animal. Absolute beast, this guy, man. He had great combinations. He had power. He had technique. And he was just a mean bastard as well in the ring. He was just someone that I used to love watching. Do you know what I mean? I didn't really like the guy, but I could separate that with, you know, the fighter. I could appreciate his talent and Kovalev definitely had that. He had a great amateur career and uh, as a pro, man, he was outstanding. Do you know what I mean? We wanted to see that fight of him and Stevenson, but like I said, Kovalev was a bully. He was a, he was a great world champion, but as of now, 38 years old, last couple of years, he's been out of his prime. We've seen him stopped. Um, we've seen him look vulnerable. At cruiserweight, how is his chin gonna be able to hold up against these guys, man? It remains to be seen. But yeah, um, back in his day, Kovalev was something. He was a real top quality fighter, man, pound for pound, for sure, in that top 10. But now, yeah, I'm not expecting too much. Um, I suppose he, still, he needs to fight uh, to continue to make money. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not sure how much of a run Kovalev is gonna be able to have at cruiserweight. There are still some dangerous fighters at cruiserweight, man, and um, that's gonna be a bit of an issue for Kovalev, especially with his chin not really holding up over the last few fights at light heavyweight. So let's see, he might be more refreshed, he might be more stronger, you know, won't have to lose as much weight. So um, let's see. What are your guys' thoughts on this, man, about Kovalev's return in May? Is it something that you're gonna be tuning into? Um, are you, like me, a bit surprised that, you know, you haven't really heard anything um, to condemn Kovalev? We ain't seen any of the sanctioning bodies um, ban him. I don't think he was banned, was he? Uh, if he was banned, then maybe it was like, you know, served silently because I didn't hear anything, but, you know, he's back in the ring now. Um, so let's see what happens. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.